Experiment 5. Preparation and analysis of potassium trioxalatophyrate trihydrate. Chemicals and apparatus. Sulfuric acid, potassium ferric cyanide, potassium oxalate, ferric trichloride hexahydrate, test tube and tube rack, 250 milliliters beaker, burette, glass rod. Preparation of potassium trioxalatophyrate trihydrate. Weigh approximately 9 grams of hydrated potassium oxalate into a 250 milliliters beaker. Add 30 milliliters of distilled water and heat to dissolve the swirling. Be sure that water is not boiled. In another beaker, dissolve 4.4 grams of ferric trichloride hexahydrate in 10 or 15 milliliters of cold water. Add the ferric trichloride hexahydrate solution to the warm oxalate solution and stir with a glass rod. Allow the product to crystallize by cooling the solution in an ice water mixture. Collect the crystalline output by filtration. The product is potassium trioxalatophyrate trihydrate. Blueprinting. Transfer a pinch of potassium trioxalatophyrate trihydrate in a test tube and dissolve it in minimum amount of water. Wet a piece of filter paper with the iron oxalate solution prepared in the previous stage. After drying the filter paper in a furnace for a few minutes, place an opaque object on the paper. And irradiate it for a few minutes using a light source. Take the filter paper from under the light source and wet it with potassium ferric cyanide using a pipette. Bear in mind that this ferric cyanide solution is poisonous. Record your observations.
photochemical reaction of iron oxalate. Dissolve the rest of your potassium trioxalatoferrate 3 hydrate complex in 100 ml of distilled water. Add 3 ml of 2 molar sulfuric acid and swirl the mixture. Add 10 ml of this solution to each of the three labeled test tubes. Keep one tube away from the light source and the remaining two tubes under the light source for 1 and 5 minutes respectively. To all three tubes, add 1 ml of 1 tenth molar potassium ferric cyanide solution and mix it with a stirring rod. Record your observations.